Uh, excuse the jackal while he pauses to regain his equilibrium. You okay? Yeah, evidently the master assumes that his apprentice has an iron constitution, um, immune to the entropical effects of wind-tossed no, waves. He told me he never got seasick. Yeah, well, I've never valid. ventured into waters as wild and tempestuous Actually, as these. these conditions are really good. Uh, within just a small respite to calm my queasy stomach, and then we shall venture back into the okay. high seas. You know what, why don't you go back to the penthouse? No, 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 just no, I will remain hang. by your side. The demented one no doubt holds fair Samantha captive on the freighter Gibraltar, and we must find that ship before evil runs amok. Could you pour me a cup of coffee, please? Well, I could, but you know what? It would annoy me greatly if you tossed scalding coffee in my face. Okay, well, what if I promise not to throw it? <laughs> promise? You? You're every bit as untrustworthy as I am. But you know what? Since you've amused me, we'll settle for a compromise. I will leave the coffee to cool down, and you can drink it when I return. All right, darling? Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to Shaw to get another shipment of drugs. Then it's time for a fake death, and a real one. Isn't that fun? Anything you want to say? Aside from the accidental distress call, there's been no contact between Gibraltar and the authorities. And where's Gibraltar now? Well, it is not yet past the harbor patrol station en route to the open sea. Okay, so Jerry is still somewhere in the harbor. Maybe he's waiting for something. Keeping first Samantha as a reluctant captain. Okay, I'm going to keep looking. I, I shall accompany you. Well, no, I can handle this. I, I, no, uh, the rescue situation is most hazardous. I, you, backup is warranted. Yeah, are you, are you feeling okay? Tad peculiar. Okay, then you need to stay here. <sighs> hey. Hey, Jason, it's me. I just want to let you know that Robin has stabilized. She's going to be all right? Well, her condition is guarded, but we're hopeful. Good, good. Thank you so much for letting me know. I'm, I'm getting off of work soon, and I'm going back to my studio. You want to meet me? Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm uh, working right now. Okay. Um, all right, then. Have a good day. Take care. The maternal one? Yeah. Perhaps when this whole crisis is over, you can reconvene with your lady love? Perhaps we don't talk about Elizabeth. I'm going to keep looking. Um, proceed with the utmost caution. You know what? I must admit, I'm going to miss you and your food for the fishes. And you admit that you're loving this. Well, I do enjoy the expression on your face when I bring up your imminent demise. You know, there's there's... There's a fascinating mixture of fear and determination, sweet Sam. You know, the moment you're threatened, your mind goes into a spin, you know, working out all the ways to save yourself. It's pure survivalism. It's, it's a quality I greatly admire. I oh, actually... really? I'm, I'm really glad you approved. Uh, thank you. Yes, well, case in point. Anyone else would be begging for mercy. What, what, what is begging you're going to do for me? You're not going to save me. I know. You have to die for my plan to work, darling. Sorry. <laughs> That's because your plans have all worked so well in the past. The Metro Court? That was that was a good plan. Yes, it's true, it's true. I mean, yeah, there was a room full of hostages, and you were the only one with the presence of mind to push the silence alarm. You know what? I have to admit, you were a worthy adversary, darling. You were. Wait! My coffee probably cold. Can I please? Why not? Why not? Throw it at me? I promise you I wouldn't. Touche. You know, I'm really going to miss you, darling. Perhaps if I pursued you more intensively, we would have been partners and you'd be joining me in my getaway instead of dying to cover my escape. Too bad. Too bad.
evildoer, what have you done with Fair Samantha? Oh, if you're referring to Sweet Sam, she's willingly joined me on a pleasure cruise. I'm not deceived by your lies. Well, that's your prerogative. But if you don't tell me where Fair Samantha is located, I will tell Stone Cold on you. You see, there's one small problem with your valiant plan. Jason appears to be nowhere in the vicinity. Well, he returns anon. In the meantime, uh, how do you intend to stop me? That's what I thought. Prepare to be vanquished. Clumsy idiot. Really? Jackal's head aches most greatest. What happened? The sinister one was here. Jerry was, was here? Yeah, I, I accused him of evil doing, but he insisted Fair Samantha was a willing okay, accomplice. Okay, did, did you see where he was headed? Alas, I was rendered unconscious before he departed. However... What? I did manage to place a tracking device on his person. You, you put a tracking device on Jerry? Most assuredly. During our bout of fisticuffs, I did prove somewhat ineffectual at martial arts, but I did manage to maintain proximity long enough to place a device in his pocket. You did good. I'm gratified by your praise, and hopefully the demented one will remain none the wiser. Hello. I trust you weren't too bored in my absence. The peace and quiet has been kind of nice. Oh yes, the last moment of solitude to take stock of your life. Take me with you, please. Very tempting. But, you know, self-preservation is a priority. You see, now I'm going to start positioning the charges. You can watch me set up the timer. You see, I have to be very precise because once the countdown is initiated, you can't stop it. Any attempt will trigger detonation in case you're tempted to try. <laughs> well, maybe I will because at least I'll be able to take you with me. <laughs> That's funny. You know, it would have been a terrible waste to have gone through all this trouble and die in my own explosion. It all worked out so beautifully. You know, I even had the foresight to leave several thousand dollars and a large shipment of drugs on board to make it appear as if we're making our getaway. You really think that people are going to believe that you're dead when there's no body? Well, I'm relying on your lovely corpse to be convincing enough. But if you excuse me, I have a ship to explode. Thank you. through all this trouble for Sweet Sam. You're never going to get Shut away. Shut up! Now turn slowly, face me, hands above your head. Now! 